Star Wars gearing up for their Pride campaign, they caught some fans by surprise with an announcement of well, one of the most well-known characters in the franchise. We're going to get into all the details up top, guys. As I mentioned, I'm now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link below. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here. We lost our monetization. Could lose this entire channel very soon as well. And also, if God lays it on your heart to do so to help donate to our ministry, we would greatly appreciate that. The links to do so are down below. If you choose Patreon, $5 a month, you get my bonus podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. Plus, also, we include the links to these YouTube videos up there because YouTube is not always alerting you when the new content comes out. As a matter of fact, you might not have gotten the alert for this video. Also there, you can comment on the videos censorship-free because YouTube is blocking and hiding a lot of the comments that you guys write now. So Patreon, definitely the way to go. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, the Star Wars Pride campaign, oh, they're gearing up here and they're getting ready to release six brand new comic covers and they're going to be featuring all different rainbow characters from Star Wars. These are also reportedly uh, made and designed by those who are in the rainbow community who identify as all different sorts of rainbow people. They're so excited about this. But what caught fans by surprise is that the classic character, Lando Calrissian, they have now said that Lando is in fact part of the rainbow community. That's right, and Lando is going to be on one of these six covers. Now, if you go all the way back to 1980, the classic Star Wars film, The Empire Strikes Back, Lando was portrayed as kind of a ladies' man, right? He was kind of saying, what's up to Princess Leia? He goes and gives her the kiss on the hand, okay? This isn't somebody that appeared to be part of the Rainbow community, but for whatever reason, this has been confirmed with Lucasfilm, with Marvel, Okay, Star Wars himself, all of them coming together saying that, no, no, in fact, Lando Calrissian is LGBT. And people are saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you just make new characters and put them in the rainbow community? Why are you having to just go back and grab an old character, a well-known character, even though, you know, you know, Calrissian wasn't really featured much in the comics. If you, if you, if you watch you know, the movies only, you know, you don't know a lot of the comic characters, you know, they're part of that. But Lando is one of those ones that a lot of people will know either way. But they're saying, why don't you just make a new character? Why are you going back and taking one that was portrayed one way, and now all of a sudden you're twisting him and you're making him into something that he was never supposed to be in the first place? Now look, my take, none of them. This whole thing shouldn't even be happening in the first place. This whole rainbow campaign and pride this and pride that. Marvel is so excited about the venture. The fact that they have all the rainbow people working on these new comic covers to celebrate not just their characters, but the whole Pride Month. As these companies continue to pander more and more and more. You know, it's kind of funny. It's actually offending some people who are in the rainbow community. Saying, this is even too much for us. But why is it all happening? You might say, why is this craziness taking place? Everywhere we look, and I'm not just talking about with this, with the, the whole Lando Calrissian thing and saying that he's actually part of the rainbow community, the alphabet community. Everything that we see happening. The corona, everything crazy with that. Shutdowns, everything shut down. Fights breaking out everywhere. Democrats are out of control. The whole world is seemingly out of control. Well, it's because we're in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And that is part of our ministry here. We not only bring you the prophetic news headlines of what's taking place around the world, but we're trying to get people to Jesus Christ. Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? If you don't, this is your opportunity. How do you do it? Well, you start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But guess what? God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. So what do we need to do? What is our part? We need to repent of our sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just saying you're sorry, but actually turning from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God, that counters what God's word says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, 
you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out with that. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.